Hi guys, let's continue our discussion. Now, we will talk about career stages. Career stages would be an essential topic for you as future teachers. I hope na motivate kayo once you study about it. Uh, teacher professional development happens in a continuum from beginning to exemplary practice. Of course, hindi lang naman stagnant ang career ng teachers. We always keep moving forward unless it's our choice and we do something for it. So career stages make explicit the elements of high-quality teaching for the 21st century. Ito yung sinasabi ko now for this 21st century learners ay nagkakaroon talaga ng improvement or reform sa ating uh, education. And in this way, even the career stages then would be uh, something that we need to be familiar with para alam natin kung saan stage na tayo. And they comprise, they comprise the scriptures that have been informed by teachers' understanding of what is required at each of the four career stages. So, my apat na stages. The descriptors represent a continuum of development within the profession by providing a basis for attracting, preparing, developing, and supporting teachers. Uh, kaya maganda na habang first year pa kayo or you're still a student, you'll be familiar with this para maisip nyo na hindi lang talaga stagnant yung career ng isang teacher. We always keep moving forward. And uh, in this way, guys, I hope na you'll be really attracted to finish this profession that you are entering na magiging teacher talaga kayo in the future. And uh, you will um, accept this profession by heart na sana ay malay nyo, di ba? You're really called, uh, tinatawag called talaga kayo to be a teacher by uh, this is a vocation, di ba? Hindi lang a profession. And uh, we have here, guys, yung ano, apat na stages. Of course, we have the beginning teachers. Ito yung kakasimula lang. Next is the profession, uh, the proficient teachers. Highly proficient teachers. And lastly, yung distinguished teachers na talaga. Sila yung mga pang-apat na uh, namumulaklak na talaga. They have their own products at mga distinguished na talaga. Sila yung mga tipong marami nang napag-graduate or most of their students are already professionals. Distinguished na talaga yung career nila. And they are the ones talaga na hinahangaan ko since uh, they were able to keep their spirit, the teaching profession spirit, yung kahit matanda na sila. And these teachers talaga, yung, yung tipong kahit retired na sila ay they still have that teaching sa profession, sa heart nila. And it, it could not be taken away from them. Okay, let's start with the beginning teachers. So, sino ba tong um, beginning teachers na to? Sila yung mga ano na, equip, they are turn, uh, it's their, their turn to teach na talaga. Beginning teachers have gained the qualification, qualifications recognized for entry into the teaching profession. Of course, like sa private school, di ba, pag once na graduate ka, they are accepting pa, kahit wala ka pang license, kasi it will serve as training rounds, but um, kasi minsan sa public, di ba, kailangan talaga, lisensyado ka before ka makapag-apply sa kanila, or you have this, ano na, um, maganda na yung records mo. And, they have a strong understanding of the subject, areas in which they are trained in terms of content knowledge and pedagogy. By the way, guys, I'm not saying din naman na, of course, uh, yung mga beginning teachers ay, hindi naman sa lahat ng pagkakataon na sa private, lahat ng beginning teachers, of course not. I even uh, know lots of teachers na magagaling talaga na nagtuturo sa private school. And there are lots of distinguished teachers din talaga doon na makikilala nyo na sobrang mahal talaga nila yung pagtuturo. And they have a, pero sa beginning teachers muna tayo mag-focus, wherein, basta, they are trained in terms of content, knowledge, and pedagogy. Kaya pag-graduate na kayo uh, ng college, and it's your turn to teach na, you will be considered as a beginning teacher. 
Uh, they manage learning programs and have strategies that promote learning based on the learning needs of their students. So, well prepared na kayo dapat na to pag once na graduate. Kaya, I do believe talaga guys na lalo na kayo, you're still a student and you're still starting the profession pa lang or sa, dito sa pagtuturo. While you are still a student, uh, do all the mistakes na na pwedeng uh, niyong gawin. Kasi you will learn a lot from it. Don't be afraid na magkamali kayo. Kasi nasa stage pa lang kayo. Uh, alam mo yun, as a seed pa kayo eh. Parang tinatanim pa lang kayo. So, do everything or try yung mga bagay na don't be afraid na dapat gawin yung mga bagay na kailangan gawin ang as a teacher. Kasi pag maging teacher na kayo, kung ano yung license nyo, parang ano, um, it's so hard na pag mag-commit ng mistakes. So, we're still a student, just do uh, what, ano, kung ano man yung kailangan ng gawin. And, uh, huwag kayong matakot kasi you're still a student. Ha? And then, um, dito sa beginning teachers, then, uh, they seek advice from, exper uh, from experienced colleagues to consolidate their teaching practice. Kaya pag, um, I do love this one, na pag sa isang school talaga, ay napaka-supportive ng mga experienced na na teachers. And uh, I'm so happy na nung first year of teaching ko, I, I was surrounded by people, experienced teachers. I work sa private school na kung saan, sasabi ko talaga ang gagaling ng mga teacher. Kasi, even those experienced teachers are guiding those beginning teachers. And, uh, of course, it's your ano then to seek advice from them. Uh, don't be afraid na ay, hindi kanila papansinin or whatsoever. Kasi, you're part of the team eh, sa isang school kayo. So, just be open and be, ano, seek their advice. Kasi hindi sa lahat na pagkakataon yung mentality mo, ba? Kasi pag graduate ka pa lang, beginning teacher, um, sobrang dami mo theories na alam, mga ideas, alam mo yun, napaka, ano, um, somewhat like, idealistic talaga pag, uh, once you're beginning teachers, kung kaka-graduate lang. But then, uh, kaya maganda na, we seek advice then from those experienced teachers. Kasi dun mo malalaman na Hindi pala sa lahat na pagkakataon, yung mga ideas na lalaman natin ay applicable talaga all the time. Kasi expectation versus reality ay nakakaiba din talaga minsan. So, we have to seek advice. So, yun yung mga beginning teachers. So, they still need to ask some support from those experienced teachers. And we have the proficient teachers. So, these are teachers who are professionally independent in the application of skills vital to the teaching and learning process. So, independent na sila. And uh, they provide focused teaching programs that meet curriculum and assessment requirements. Before, I honestly, nung beginning teacher pa lang ako, but I could not say that I in the level na ng proficient teacher, I'm not sure. Um, basta before, I just want my students to enjoy the the learning process and then I'm on the book then tapos curriculum. I'm not really following most of the time ng curriculum but the book I'm glad, glad naman na yung book na ginagamit namin sa school ay more on nagpo-follow talaga sa K to 12 curriculum. However, uh, mas maganda talaga dito pag proficient teacher ka na is you'll be more ano uh, independent and you really make sure na lahat na activities mo ay will meet curriculum and assessment requirements. Kasi, there's no such thing as perfect. Even books din naman, ba? Kahit mahal pa yan or galing pa yan sa magaling na publishing house. There's still, an ano din naman, mga pagkakamali. And they display skills in planning, implementing, managing learning programs. So, ito na yung mga ano na talaga... Uh, they could check, implement, tapos na ma-manage na nila. And uh, these are teachers na matagal-tagal na din na nagtuturo. But not all the time naman na uh, porket matagal ka na nagtuturo ay you will be considered as proficient teacher na. Of course, uh, ito yung mga ano, requirements na masasabing proficient teacher ka na. 
you display ng skills ng planning, implementing, tapos may managing learning programs ka na. But, of course, most of the time naman talaga, pag habang tumatagal ang teacher sa pagtuturo, ay lalo siyang gumagaling. So, wala naman talagang nag, ano, nasa stuck na lang lagi sa beginning. Kasi, all the people learn. Lalo na yung mga teachers naman, di ba? And then, they actively engage in collaborative learning with the professional community and other stakeholders for mutual growth and advancement. Yeah. They still engage in collaborative learning. Kaya, maganda yung profession teacher tapos beginning teachers ay nakakasama. Kasi, at least, guided ng mga uh, profession teachers tsaka yung mga distinguished teachers ang mga beginning teachers. And they are reflective practitioners who continually consolidate the knowledge, skills, and practices of sta uh, career stage one of teachers. And now, we will talk about the third stage, which is the highly proficient teachers. So, see na tong mga highly proficient teachers na to? Uh, they consistently display a high level of performance in their teaching process. In kanina, ang um, proficient teachers are independent, pero pag highly proficient na, a uh, proficient na, sila tong mga nagko-consistently display a high level of performance. Hindi lang nagdi-display but consistent. Palagi nilang din-display yung high level of performance in their teaching practices. And they manifest and in depth and sophisticated understanding of the teaching and learning process. Of course, marami na silang alam. And they have high education focus situation cognition, are more adept in problem solving, and optimize opportunities gained from experiences. No wonder, di ba, pag uh, marami na silang experiences, lalo na sa pagtuturo na may master na nila lahat ng content at lessons. And for that, they will really optimize yung mga opportunities na ibibigay nila dun sa mga students nila. Kasi, they were, ba, nagbibigay siya na activity. Pagkaw, nagbibigay ako na activity. Lalo na pag naturo ko na siya for how many classes. So, it would be easier for me to identify or na-expect ko na kung anong pwede mangyari. Tapos, um, kung if ever may mangyari ba, alam ko na kung paano yun may iuwasan. Kasi, alam mo na na it should be there should always be instruction before, during, and after para dun sa mga students. And for this highly proficient talaga, consistent sila sa mga ginagawa nila. And they have uh, career stage 3 teachers work collaboratively with colleagues and provided them support and mentoring to enhance their learning and practice. I joined that one guys, kahit nasa mataas na sila. But still, they still uh, they need collaborative uh, work pa rin with the others, even for beginning teachers. And I do believe with this, guys, na uh, kahit yung mga distinguished teachers talaga, uh, may mga kilala talaga ako na they work collaboratively din sa mga beginning teachers, lalo na yung bagong graduates. Kasi kayo, halimbawa, bagong graduate lang kayo. You have lots of knowledge and you are very creative and imaginative enough in providing activities ng mga strategies ng teaching. And we could learn so much from it. Lalo na no, the last time, di ba, bago yung sa ICT talaga, bago pumasok yan sa teaching, ay yung mga uh, distinguished teachers na, na matatanda na, pero nahihirapan sila sa uh, way ng teaching, kasi nga, sa computer, di ba? But still, they uh, have collaboratively work with the new teachers. And yung mga new teacher, beginning teachers sa nga eh, sila pa yung nagtuturo sa mga distinguished teachers how to use computer or ICT. And, ito dito napapakita talaga na teachers should always be humble enough. Hindi sa lahat na pagkakataon na kung distinguished teachers ka na, ikaw na yung pinakamagaling. Even beginning teachers, ay, they have, um, may mga knowledge din sila na pwede nilang i-impart. Kaya kahit dito sa highly proficient, they need collaborative work with the other stages din ng mga uh, career stages ng teachers. And lastly, guys, yung distinguished teachers, they are embodied the highest standard for teaching grounded in global best practices. Ito yung mga award-winning teachers. 
uh, distinguished teachers talaga sila and they exhibit exceptional capacity to improve their own teaching practice and that of others sila. Ito na talaga yung mga experts sila tayong uh, ano, pwedeng mag-evaluate ng mga curriculum makikita nila and they are the one na ano sila tong mga most of the time kinukuha silang accreditors ina-accredit nila kung yung school ba to ay nakakapasa ba sa standards or kailangan mang tumaas yung level kasi sila na yung ma-distinguish na type of teachers and they are recognized as leaders in education Ayan ha, distinguished leaders na sila ng education, contributors to the profession, initiator of collaborations and partnership. And they create lifelong impact in the lives of colleagues, students, and others. And they consistently seek professional advancement and relevance in pursuit of teaching quality and excellence. Yan, gusto nila palagi quality and ex- excellence talaga pag distinguished teachers na and they exhibit commitment to inspire the education community and stakeholders for the improvement of education provision in the Philippines. Diba? Ang gagaling talaga ng mga distinguished teachers. Sila yung star ng mga stars. Kasi magagaling na distinguished na talaga. And there are someone uh, we can look forward to yung will be inspired by them. And I have lots of teachers then na kilala talaga na distinguished teachers, lalo na sa university natin. And uh, we have here the sweet. Ang next naman ay the stage 1. So, ano tong stage 1 na to? Uh, for beginning teachers, guys, ito yung mga dapat nating gagawin sa specific na strand. Diba, diniscuss ko na kanina itong mga strength with the last video. Uh, content knowledge and its application within and across curriculum areas. So, ang ginagawa ng beginning teachers, they should demonstrate content knowledge and its application within or across curriculum teaching areas. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, this would be the word of the day for this video. Yung pedagogy, um, you'll always be familiar with it and Siguro alam niyo na to, but for some na hindi pa alam, the pedagogy is the method and practice of teaching, especially as an academic subject or theoretical concept. So, ito yung jargon, somewhat like jargon the word, na tayo lang educators yung nakakaalam. Iba sa mga doctors, meron silang jargons, or mga words na sila lang nakakaalam ng kapwa doctors. For this one, as uh, educators, itong pedagogy naman ay uh, parang jargon din. Mga educators lang yung sobrang familiar for this word. So, remember this, pedagogy. Ha? It's the method or practice of teaching. Or in short, it's teaching. Yun yung pedagogy. So, pag beginning teacher, yun yung dinem- that, uh, dinedemonstrate nila for that first strand. Tapos, um, dito sa strand do naman, research base Beginning teachers should demonstrate an understanding of research-based knowledge and principles of teaching and learning. So, don't you worry, guys. Before naman kayo graduate, you will have the subject principles of teaching, teaching and learning. So, of course, alam na alam nyo na yan. Pag-graduate na kayo, magiging prepared na talaga kayo sa pagtuturo. In the positive use of ICT naman, show skills in the positive use of ICT to facilitate the teaching and learning process. So, dito kasi sa ICT na sinasabi ko kanina, uh, dapat positive yung tinuturo natin. In a way that we teach the students about responsibility. Diba sabi nga ni Pia, uh, Pia ng ano, <laughs> um, Miss Universe natin, Pia Words Back, na before, think before you click. So, that's about responsibility, the safety, you have to be careful. Yung mga opportunity, sobrang dami. Diba, imbis na gamitin natin sa, sa mga bagay na nagsasayin tayo ng oras, why not use it as opportunity to learn a lot? Kasi, nasa internet na halos dating information. But, we still need to be careful of it. Kasi, meron ding talagang may information na kumakalat na hindi naman totoo or hindi naman validated talaga. Sadyang gawa-gawa lang. Kaya, yun yung part na responsibility na pag nagtuturo ka as a teacher. Kaya before ka dapat graduate, ay alam mo na kung how are you going to protect the students, 
or magkakaroon ka na empowerment, you have, it should start with you. Kaya I hope na kayo yung mga future educators, ay sana wala ako makikita sa mga post na binubuli nyo yung ibang tao or alam mo yun, sinisiraan yung ibang tao with online. Kasi you are already practicing as educator kung ano yung responsibility nyo for using the internet. Okay? And uh, be careful then sa mga issues na or sa mga sinishare natin na mga issues or mga balita. Check muna natin kung fake news ba or nasa tamang source ba talaga yung pinagkukuna natin. That's it. Okay? And I hope naman, ituturo din naman yan sa subject nyo na sa ICT. Kaya you'll be uh, master for it once you graduate na. But of course, there's still a room for improvement and learning. So, just continue learning. So, while you are still young or first year pa lang, I hope na napapractice na din natin. Okay? And if ever na nagkakomit man ng mistake, we should be humble enough for it to uh, correct those mistakes. And for the content knowledge, dito naman sa strand 4, strand 4 na to, um, study just for promoting literacy and numeracy. So, ikaw as a beginning teacher after you graduate, you'll demonstrate knowledge of teaching strategies that promote literacy and, numer and numeracy skills. So, ano itong mga teaching strategies na to? Again, pag-aaralan nyo din yan. But for you, uh, just for you to have a picture of it, ito yung mga teaching strategies na halimbawa. We have direct instruction, one-on-one -on -one with the teacher, classroom discussion, so nag-explain si teacher like what I'm doing, and then small group work, you will be asked to create, do something with your group, tapos my cooperative learning, problem solving, my uh, student research, tapos meron ding performance activities. So nasa sa inyo na yan, on what type of strategy are you going to use to promote literacy and numeracy. And then the uh, uh, fifth trend, uh, yung about developing critical and creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills, yung teachers should apply teaching strategies that develop critical and creative thinking and or higher order thinking skills. Kaya, uh, hanggat maaari nga while we are having our lesson, I would really love to hear questions from you. Kasi pag maging teachers na kayo, you would really ask hat questions, higher order thinking skills. Kaya sana mapapractice na din natin. And then, so don't be afraid pala na to ask questions, okay? You're free naman to comment in our class, uh, Google Classroom where kung saan to nakapost tong video na to. And then, the sixth trend about mother tongue, Filipino, in English, in teaching and learning. So, use the mother tongue, Filipino, and English to facilitate teaching and learning. Before, I really wanted to stick with the fact na, ano, so, in pure English lang yung turo ko. But then, I realized that it's not always about English using that language, but how will the students understand what you are going to teach to them. But, of course, uh, depende din yan sa school. Kasi before, um, my first years of teaching talaga, I work with a private school na sa AR school na kailangan talaga English speaking na train yung mga students. So, depende din yan sa school that you are part with. But, as much as possible, since you will be a uh, future English teachers. I hope that you keep on practicing the language hanggang sa ma-master nyo para once you will be a teacher someday, you'll be able to master it already at hindi na kayo nihihirapan. And then, for the second strand, dito naman tayo sa learning environment, learner safety and security. Demonstrate the knowledge, policies, and guidelines that provide safe and secure learning environments. So, Siyempre, pag part ka na ng institution, you should be familiar enough with the policies and procedures na binibigay ng school. Okay, dapat alam natin yan. Kasi, uh, learner safety and security, paano mararamdaman na bata na secure siya, di ba? Parang sa relasyon lang yun. Dapat mararamdaman mo na secured ka sa taong yan uh, for you to feel safe at para mas maging komportable ka, di ba? Uh, same as the students, ito naman yung dapat natin ibibigay sa kanila 
continuous feedback. Uh, bibigyan natin sila ng feedback on what they're doing. Student motivation, na-motivate natin sila. And self-direction, access to digital tools, social-emotional engagement. Kaya, lalo na pag sa teacher talaga. Before, I was like introvert. Ngayon, ambivert na. Minsan, gusto ko mapag-isa. Gusto ko naman. Minsan, na makipag, ano, uh, communicate with others. But that's the fact talaga. Or, yan talaga realidad pag sa teacher. You have to learn how to engage social emotional. Kasi, tuturo mo din yan sa mga estudyante nyo. And then, uh, just the third, a uh, second Second strand for domain to uh, fair learning environment. So, diniscuss ko na to kanina na promote fairness, respect, and encourage learning sa mga tujante natin. Huwag natin silang dinidiscourage. And, uh, paano ba magkakaroon ng fairness sa system natin? Maybe you're familiar with this, but I really want to uh, reinstate or rep. Ay, paano ba to? I really wanted to, ano, um, i-share tong thought na to about education system. As what Albert Einstein said, that everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. So, this uh, representation in this picture, guys, yung teacher, di ba? For a fair selection, everybody has to take the same exams. Please climb the tree. Oh. Paano na lang kaya yung, ano, <laughs> paano lang yung isda, di ba? O pipilitin mong, ano, umakyat. Or paano na lang yung ibang, ano, dyan, uh, ibang animals, or be it students, di ba? Parang makikita mo dyan yung pagkakaiba. That's, that actually represent the diversity of your students. So, lahat yan sila are genius in their own way. Tapos, ipipilit mo yung mga bagay na wala naman sila or hindi naman talaga um, ano yun mo yun? Hindi naman para sa kanila yung bagay na yun. Hindi, sa, hindi sila pinanganak for purpose. For example, a fish, iba? Pinanganak siya para lumangoy, hindi siya pinanganak para umakit ng puno to measure kung matalino ba siya, ba? So, that's something like I hate the most talaga sa education system. However, um, it's a challenge na kailangan natin i-ano din, tanggapin. And we, in that way naman din, na yun naman talaga sa education eh, ba diba? sa school, na in terms of giving grades or focusing. Pero ngayon, I do love K-12 curriculum or the new curriculum kasi it's not just on content memorizing. We have uh, the, ano na, performance. Kasi, di ba, content, sa content, sa K-12, 40%, sa performance talaga sila, mas pinakamalaking, ano, grade sa pinagkukunan, which is 60%. And then, uh, the learning environment naman, anong gagawin ng, as a beginning teacher, demonstrate the knowledge of managing stru- uh, classroom structures that engage learners individually or in groups, in meaningful exploration, discovery, hands-on activities within the available physical learning environment. So, kailangan din natin matututo kung ano man yung activities na pwede natin ibigay. It could be lead. Ililid mo sila kung anong dapat gawin. Through practice, let them engage, let them play, let them write, let them observe, ask, listen. Sobrang daming activities na pwede natin ibigay sa kanila. Or it could be reward or show diba, na pwede nang matutunan. And in that way, uh, that learning environment would be so joyful and uh, um, conducive for them. Na may enjoy talaga nila kung paano sila natututo. And uh, support for learner participation. Sa anong gagawin ng isang beginning teacher? You should demonstrate understanding of supportive learning that nurture and inspire learner participation. So, I do agree with this kasi yung lumabas nga sa research na ginawa ko during my uh, mas- masteral talaga ay mas maraming bata talaga or even most of the researches mas maraming bata talaga na matataas ang grades because of 
participation, collaborative type of work with the other students. Kaya maganda din na may by group talaga. And the fifth trend, promotion of purposive learning. Dapat talaga mo purposive yung type of learning binibigay natin sa kanila. You as a beginning teacher should demonstrate knowledge of learning environments that motivate learners to work productively by assuming responsibility for their own learning. Yan. You have to assume na your own responsibility para sa sarili mong learning. And then, the sixth trend for this second domain, management of learner behavior. So, pag ikaw beginning teacher, demonstrate knowledge of positive and non-violent discipline in the management of learner behavior. So, you have to be very careful na hindi ka violent sa klase mo or sa pagdidisiplina. Kasi ngayon, um, mahal na mahal ng ating education department, ang ating mga students. So, ayun. <laughs> At, uh, it's part of code of ethics din, di ba? Na bawal tayong manakit ng mga estudyante natin. And that's, that could, ano, di ba, ruin the dignity of a teacher kung nananakit ka sa mga bata or sa mga estudyante. And then, the learner's gender needs strength, interest, and experiences. Uh, the teacher, a beginning teacher, should demonstrate knowledge and understanding of differentiated teaching to suit the learner's gender, needs strength, interest, and experiences. So, may mga bata talaga na nahihiya. So, we need to support them or uh, i-guide natin sila. Huwag natin silang basta-basta ipilit sa, ano, lalo na pag, bawa, pag, um, performance na ibibigay mo for your students is memorizing in front tapos narimutan ng bata paano mag-memorize or kinabahan na, nawala na so always give time to the student and provide support na ma-feel niyang secure siya sa activity na pinapagawa natin although may fear siya but still, we need to motivate and inspire the students to do to do it, di ba? But, in a way na kung saan siya, mas komportable din. Kasi that serves as a support for that type of student. And then, the diversity of learners, linguistic, cultural, socio-economic, and religious backgrounds. So, dapat nag implement ka ng teaching strategies that are responsive to the learner's linguistic, socio-economic, and religious backgrounds. So, discuss ko na din yan kanina. And even dito sa diversity of learners, kung may gifted, you ask or seek, uh, seek some help from the guidance counselors and learner in difficult circumstances. Demonstrate understanding of special educational needs so, in difficult uh, in circumstances, including geographic isolation, chronic illness, displacement due to armed conflict, urban settlements, child abuse, and child labor practices. Kung napapansin mo ay may mga bata na ganyan may mga problema, always seek some help from guidance counselor. And, uh, please be observant enough with your students, lalo na sa mga performances nila. Kasi, malay natin, din natin napapansin na may malaking problema na pala yung bata that cause or affect his or her learning abilities. And then, learners from indigenous groups, I also, ano dito, so, you will know teaching strategies that are inclusive of learners from indigenous groups. So, minsan may mga activities tayo. Bawa, hindi uh, naman pwede pag indigenous groups tapos wala sila mga computer doon. Tapos, yung activity na ipapagawa mo is more on ICT. So, mahirapan sila. So, you have to learn something na inclusive na bagay or hindi naman bagay. Yung tipong alam mong doon sila mas na master or mas alam nila yung way of teaching na gano'n, na kung saan may natutunan sila. So, dapat natin yung i-consider pag nagturo tayo ng indigenous people. And planning and management of teaching and learning process. Prepare developmentally sequenced teaching and learning process to meet curriculum requirements. Ayun, developmentally sequenced teaching daw and learning process. Parang ano lang yun, di ba? Parang magtutulo ka ng alphabet letters. You always start with letter A, B, C, bago ka pupunta doon sa D. So, it's always a sequence teaching. Di naman pwedeng um, ituturo mo kung math ka, 
tuturo mo agad yung multiplication, hindi pa alam ng bata yung addition tsaka subtra- subtraction. Of course, kaya kailangan may plano, always plan and management para alam natin na tama yung ginagawa natin at hindi nahihirapan yung mga estudyante. Kasi tandaan ulit, we are facilitators of learning. We always make learning easy for our students. Huwag natin silang pahirapan o kung saan, baka ayaw na nilang mag-aral. Lalo na sa mga bata. And then, learning outcomes aligned with learning competencies. Identify learning outcomes that are aligned with learning competencies. So, I discussed this one. Tapos, yung relevance and responsiveness of learning programs. Uh, in this features naman, don't you worry, sa curriculum planning na sinusunod natin. Uh, sa K-12 curriculum, ang features na maganda talaga sa kanya, bakit nagiging relevant at responsive siya sa mga learning programs is that it's learner-centered, tapos research-based talaga siya. It's standards and competence-based, and uh, flexible, ICT-based, and global. Hindi lang siya for local, but it's for globally um, competitive na siya. And then, culture-responsive and culture-sensitive. Ayun, dapat culture-sensitive na talaga ang k Kaya pag maging part ka na ng teacher, always remember that one kung magtuturo na. Ha? Iwasan natin yung mga uh, nangyayaring pagkakamala or issues na nangyari sa DepEd. However, a professional collaboration to enrich teaching practice ay pag ikaw as a teacher will seek advice concerning strategies that can enrich teaching practice. So, of course, you can ask help naman sa mga proficient, yung sa mga higher stages, career stages. Kasi marami silang may bibigay. And then, design selection, strategies. So, dito, ito yung sinabi ko kanina na for assessment. Ay merong formative, diagnostic, summative assessment. Uh, don't you worry guys, uh, this is just for ano naman, general lang to. But if you really wanted to learn more about it, kung gusto nyo mag-advance na study, uh, you can watch the other videos that I have na pwede nyo mapanood para advance kayo about assessment of learning. Kung gusto niyo na talaga matutunan. And kung may time kayo, pa din yung panuorin. And then, uh, we have here the monitoring and evaluation of learner progress in achievement. Demonstrate knowledge of monitoring and evaluation of learner progress and achievement using learner attainment data. Uh, feedback to improve learning. Demonstrate knowledge of providing timely, accurate, and constructive feedback to improve learner performance. Tandaan natin guys, ang feedback should always be constructive in a way na nakakatulong sa bata. Hindi yung feedback na ipapahiya or um, feedback na, na hindi naman nakakatulong sa bata. Imbis na makatulong ka, you serve as destructor of their dream, di ba? And... Communication of learner needs, progress, and achievement to key stakeholders. Demonstrate familiarity with a range of strategies for communicating learner needs, progress, and achievement. Tapos, dito sa assessment data, to enhance teaching and learning practices and programs, uh, you need to demonstrate understanding role of assessment data as feedback in teaching and learning practices and programs. Again, meron yan sa videos. You could watch it if you want an advanced learning about assessment, okay? Tapos, dito sa community linkages naman, na discuss ko na din to kanina kung anong dapat gawin. Tapos, dito sa engagement of parents and wider school community in the educati- uh, educative process, uh, seek advice concerning strategies that build the relationship with parents, guardians, and wider community. Don't you worry, meron guided naman kayo ng administrators and hindi lang naman yan trabaho ng teachers kasi teachers will be focusing more on the students and pero dyan uh, assist naman tayo tapos support with the plans of administrators ng ating schools ang ano lang tagyan natin dyan main concern would be um, yung parents kasi sila yung partner talaga natin in terms of education and developing the students uh, professional ethics, ayun, code of ethics for professional teachers, congratulations. Um, you already learned from it naman din, meron na kayong information about it. And tapos sa school policies and procedures, sabi ko din kanina na we need to be 
familiar with the uh, policies na binibigyan ng school and dignity of teaching as a profession. So, demonstrate behaviors that uphold the dignity of teaching as a profession by exhibiting qualities such as caring, again, attitude, respect, and integrity. Diba? Tanda, papansin nyo pa, ulit lang yung, ano, uh, inuulit talaga lagi yung mga qualities na yan for teachers. Hanggang fourth year na kayo niyan, hanggang maging teacher na kayo. Those are the qualities na dapat i-exhibit natin as a teacher. And then, professional links with colleagues, seek opportunities, we need to ask some help, and learn to be open with the other teachers, lalo na yung mga uh, distinguished na talaga, and proficient now in doing their job, kasi sila talaga yung mag-guide sa atin at tutulong sa atin. And of course, we could still provide them na knowledge. They are also open for it. Lalo na sa mga creative or new types of teaching and strategies na pwedeng i-offer ng mga beginning teachers. And professional reflection and learning to improve practice. Of course, we always ask why, um, what happened, effective pa ba yung way na pagtuturo ko, may natutunan pa ba yung bata. So, always ask why or how or is there something na effect dun sa ginagawa mo. And uh, professional development goal, dapat nagde-demonstrate ka na motivation to realize professional development goals based on the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers. So, ano yung mga pinag-aralan natin? Kung ano man meron na ito, ay kailangan din talaga natin i-remember uh, by heart para isabuso natin yung pagiging teacher. And I know most of you naman ay pinatawag talaga sa pagiging teacher or already um, fell in love with the teaching profession. And now, let's find out, is there a difference um, between, may pagkakaiba ba between teacher quality and quality teachers? Now, let's find out. Uh, teacher quality, guys, according to Barbara Paris, during her dissertation, I teacher quality refers to the, uh, to the characteristics the teachers possess. This may include the teacher's professional preparation, characteristics, as well as knowledge. So, more on characteristics yan pag sinasabi natin teacher quality. Uh, this is one of the research na money go of 2007. Na kung saan man kita yung teacher quality, merong input, may process outcomes which is more on the student achievement test for teacher effectiveness and the process. Basta tandaan lang natin, pag teacher quality, ito yung mga characteristics that teacher possess na. Yung professional preparation, characteristics. Tapos, pag quality teachers naman, it's uh, quality teachers possesses the said characteristics which enable him or her to provide quality in teaching. Nagbibigay na siya ng quality sa teaching. Pero yung teacher quality, it's more on characteristics. Yung ano, um, sinasabi. And then, uh, we have here, quality teachers, what does it mean? To make it more clear with, to you, a respected, pro, uh, respected professional sila, highly trained University-based teacher education, my master's degree, freedom in decision-making, and intellectually interesting and attractive for the young, entry to program, best students, motivated, content area mastery. So, ito yung mga quality teachers talaga. Sobrang dami ng characteristics. Or they are already possess those characteristics na nagpo-provide sila ng quality in teaching. Okay, to end this discussion, guys, about ensuring teacher quality, uh, let's all remember with this um, com uh, common quotations na ginagamit ng mga teachers that I do love also. Uh, I'm not sure who really is the author of this uh, quotation, but I do love this too. That the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, the great teacher is inspires. I know that um, someday most of you or marami sa inyo will become a great teacher. Someday who will inspire others and for the students. As long as you love the profession and teach, uh, you teach by heart 
and you really care with your students, that would mean a lot to them. So, thank you so much guys and I hope that you will enjoy your vacation, <laughs> Christmas break. Thank you!